Hey, what it do, what it do? It's your boy Q, and before we get into week number three of our Tech High School series, let's go ahead and take a look at our Power 5 rankings after two weeks of spring action. And just like we kick off our weeks with Valorant, let's start there with Division 1. Boyertown holding it down at the number 5 spot, sitting at 1-1, one one, bouncing back this past week with a big 2-0 win over Portage area. Franklin Regional coming in at that number 4 spot, also sitting at 1-1, one one, but they did have to play the GOATs from Altoona. Now, Bishop Guilfoyle was able to start their season in week number two with a 13-0 over West Green, slotting them in at the number three spot. Forest Hills is going to be rocking that number two spot, 2-0 two currently, but was pushed into overtime this past week against Penn Trafford, winning 14-12. And it's going to be Greater Altoona, as we mentioned earlier, able to take down number four Franklin Regional this week, still undefeated for the semester and at that number one spot. In Division 2, we still got the GOATs of TEC Valorant in that top 5, but for now, they sit at 5. Sitting currently at 1-1, one and one, but had a tough draw against Franklin Regional. Albert Gallatin were able to start off their season with a dub against West Branch, only dropping a single round, putting them in at number 4. Richland had the week off, but seeing as they still haven't dropped a round, we couldn't drop them outside of the top 3. Franklin Regional took down the GOATs of TEC Valorant in indominant fashion, putting them in at the number 2 spot. And Black Lick Valley High School had dropped just five rounds through their first two games, four of which came this past weekend against Portage Area, and they'll be sitting in at number one. Gateway started off their season in a knockout drag em out series that went all five against Boyertown, putting Gateway at number five for now. Carmichael's area is going to slide in at that number four spot for now, 2-0, and, oh, and was able to prevent the reverse sweep against Greenberg Central in week number two. Albert Gallatin drips into that number three spot as they were able to take down Winber by a series score of three to one. California area are still holding it down in that number two spot at two and zero, oh, and were able to sweep Laurel Highlands this past week. And that of course leaves Forest Hills, our fall champions, still sit undefeated. And as they end another sweep to their win streak here in TEC Rocket League, sitting at the top at number one. In our Division II Rocket League, just like our Valorant top fives, our D1 team still makes that top five for D2, as Forest Hills also comes in at number five. Richland slides in at that number four spot with a dub against Brownsville area in their week two action. Boyertown were taking the distance in their matchup against Westmont Hilltop, but following a sweep in week number one, they'll be our number three squad. Gateway drifts in at the number two spot after starting their D2 season with a sweep after having a week off in week number one, which leaves us with Jefferson Morgan in that pole position right now. Off the back of a second sweep to start off their spring, let's see how long they can keep this streak going. And of course, you can't forget that on Wednesday, we overwatch. And in Division 1, Raiders Johnstown were able to bounce back after a tough loss in week one with a sweep against Chartiers Houston, moving them into the five spot. Boyertown holding it down in the four spot after also bouncing back from a week one loss with a big sweep against Portage area. Gateway were able to start off their season with a big sweep against Forest Hills, putting them in at the three spot. Winber was able to follow up their sweep in week one with another one in week number two, sliding them in at second. But they're still looking up at Central Cambria in that pole position, who was also able to sweep both of their matchups so far in the spring. And in Division 2 action, we've seen nothing but sweeps so far this season. In at 5 as Uniontown started off their D2 season with a dub against Chartiers Houston. Our number 4 squad is going to be Penn Trafford who started off their season with a win against Mo Shannon Valley. West Branch was able to take down Ferndale in their semester opener, putting them in at 3rd. Franklin Regional's win against Portage Area is going to be good enough for that number 2 spot. And sitting in at that top spot is Westmont Hilltop after a big W against Boyertown to start the spring. So don't forget that you guys can tune in each and every week, Monday through Thursday, starting at 2.30 Eastern time on all of our channels for more tech high school action. And make sure you're keeping out for our top fives and more as we're bringing y'all more content than ever. Make sure that when you guys see those videos, you leave the video a comment, hook it up with a like, and of course, make sure you're subscribing if you're watching over on YouTube. And until we catch y'all back over here for the next one, man, don't forget, with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere. Game hard and love hard, all right, y'all? It's your boy Q, signing out.